Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about how Nissan is replacing Toyota. Let's get right into the video. So, I know this sounds like an outrageous statement, but let's go over the facts. So, within the last year, Toyota has released several new models in their lineup, and uh, let's start with the cars. Uh, so, what Toyota has been focusing on uh, with their cars has been uh, fuel economy and affordability. So you look at something like the Toyota Camry or the Toyota Corolla, for example, and both of those cars within their respective segments are you know, right where they need to be from a price point perspective, and they have a major focus on fuel economy. So like the Corolla, for example, its main transmission is a CVT automatic to maximize fuel economy. And then with the Camry, you can get the Camry in a hybrid, which again, maximizes fuel economy. Now, the one thing about, uh, especially on the camera side of things with the hybrid system is that adds complexity to the car. Now, Toyota hybrids have been known to be very reliable. Uh, initially, when they were first released, not so much, but they've definitely fine-tuned things over time, and so they're significantly more reliable than they were in the past. However, a hybrid is still more complex than a naturally aspirated engine. And if we move up uh, within Toyota's uh, vehicles. You have stuff like the RAV4 and the Highlander that continually gets updated every few years at this point uh, to keep them competitive with other automakers. And so they add more safety tech, they add more gadgets. Uh, so like both of the vehicles now have larger infotainment systems and they have features that they didn't have uh, in the past from a safety tech perspective. And then you move from that to the full-size SUVs and then the trucks that Toyota sells. And this is where things are starting to get kind of uh, crazy. So we obviously have the new Tundra, which it has two powertrains available. It has a twin turbo V6 and it has a twin turbo V6 hybrid. And then you've got the new Sequoia that's coming out that's going to use uh, that same twin turbo V6 hybrid. And there are talks of the 4Runner being uh, remade in the next uh, couple of years. And that will probably use uh, one of these uh, twin turbo V6 powertrains or potentially a new powertrain that Toyota hasn't released yet. Uh, we'll see what happens there. Uh, but the point to be made is that Toyota, with their full-size SUVs and with their uh, truck, the Tundra, have added a massive amount of complexity uh, to the vehicle. And this is why Nissan is now the new Toyota, because in the past, Toyota was all about simplicity and reliability. Now, I'm not saying that the new Tundra is unreliable. It hasn't been out long enough for us to know that, and the Sequoia isn't even out in the market yet, so we don't know. But... I think we can all agree that a twin turbo powertrain is significantly more complex and there's more that could go wrong compared to a naturally aspirated V8, which is what Toyota used to use for the Tundra and for the Sequoia, which they don't use anymore. And if you look at Nissan's lineup with their full-size SUVs and trucks, with the Titan, they use a big naturally aspirated V8 uh, as the main powertrain. It's the 5.6 liter V8 and they use that in stuff like the Armada as well. And then you look at Nissan's uh, smaller vehicles, something like the Pathfinder, they use a Nachi aspirated V6, no hybrids, nothing like that. And then just a regular torque converter automatic, it uses a nine speed automatic. And then you go down to Nissan's smaller cars, like the Altima, for example, the Sentra, all that kind of stuff. And they do use CVT automatics like Toyota, but all of them have Nachi aspirated uh, four cylinders, right? Simple powertrains, no hybrid systems, nothing complex. And then if you look at the technology that Nissan's using, yes, they have touchscreen infotainment systems and they've got modern safety tech like adaptive cruise control and all of that. Uh, but still, they keep things pretty simple uh, for the most part with the vehicles. They don't have anything crazy uh, from a tech perspective with any of them. They just have enough tech to keep them in line with other maker, automakers so that people actually will be willing to look at the cars. And this is why Nissan is now becoming the new Toyota, basically, because they're still building relatively simple vehicles with reliable powertrains. Now, I know some people might put some arguments forward on the smaller cars that Nissan uh, cells like the Altima and the Sentra with their CVTs and the lack of re reliability there. I understand that. But if we shift our focus over to the larger vehicles, which is generally what uh, people focus on when they look at the reliability of a brand, and I think the reason they do that is because larger vehicles cost more, and so people generally keep them for longer, and so reliability is more important, right? 
if you go and buy a right now a twenty thousand dollar car you're probably going to be okay with replacing that twenty thousand dollar car within a few years but if you go and buy an eighty thousand dollar suv you're probably not going to want to replace that in a few years you're probably going to want to keep it for a long period of time and this is where again nissan is doing what toyota used to do where they've kept things simple right again using big naturally aspirated v8s or uh, V6s and just regular torque converter automatics for most of the vehicles. Some of them have CVTs like the Murano, uh, but most of their lineup now is getting the new nine speed automatic put into it. And so that simplicity is now giving buyers a brand to buy from that again is again more on the simple side of things. And now I just said simple like three times in a row, but you know what? We're gonna just keep going with it. And so I think there's gonna be a shift in the next few years with buyers that want simple vehicles over to Nissan away from Toyota. Because a lot of people, when they go and look at the new Tundra and they go and look at the new Sequoia, uh, and there's not gonna be a Land Cruiser for the US market, but you know, any uh, the new 4Runner, for example, too, and then we'll see what they do with the Tacoma, they're probably gonna be a little bit put off because they're gonna be like, ah, do I really wanna go for that twin turbo engine or that twin turbo hybrid powertrain? And with the Tacoma, maybe they'll do like, a turbocharged four cylinder uh, for it uh, to help with fuel economy and then a hybrid system as well. And they've talked about doing a fully electric Tacoma. And I think that a lot of people are not gonna want that. And so then they're gonna look at other automakers and all the other automakers are going towards the same route that Toyota is doing where they're doing um, you know, twin turbo engines and hybrid powertrains and all that. And they're probably gonna go, you know what? Nissan is the only brand right now that I can get a brand new car from that has a big Nachi aspirated V8, simple transmission, and it doesn't have a ton of crazy technology to it that's gonna break down the road, and so I'm gonna go with them. And that's just the shift uh, that's basically happening. And so it's, it's interesting uh, to see all this, but uh, that is basically why Nissan is the new Toyota. I want you guys to let me know what you think about this, and if you're considering, if you own a Toyota right now, if you're considering uh, going over to Nissan with your next purchase because of the changes that have been made uh, within the brand for Toyota, or if you're just okay with the changes, if you think that, hey, it's Toyota, they're still going to be reliable, I don't care what powertrain they have, I trust them, uh, I'd really be interested to hear what you guys have to say on that. Uh, but with that being said, if you're stopping it for the first time, I really appreciate it if you subscribe. If you want to suggest uh, topics for future videos, put that in the comment section down below as well. And I will see all of you guys in the next video.